Hi everyone, it's been some time that I have filmed something. Actually, I really wanted to go out, but the, because the pandemic is still not very well managed in Australia at the moment, so I'm trying to avoid crowded places. I hope in the future I can go back out and film more stuff for you guys. So today, I'm going to change the topic a little bit and talk about my skincare dailies. As an actor, our body is our tool. So even as a guy, I always believe that we should take care of our skin, so we are ready for all the challenges ahead of us. First of all, skincare doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of money. If you can find a good skincare product that works perfectly with your skin, it doesn't need to be very expensive. Now, let us take a look at mine. First of all, daily cleansing. For daily cleansing, I used um, two products. One of them is the Manuka Honey um, Cleansing Foam from New Zealand. There are two brands that I use. One of them is called Wild Fern and the other one is called the Natural World. Both of them are very good. And then the, uh, in the evening, I use this Lab Series Cleansing Foam, which I think Lab Series for me, in my experience, is the, one of the, the best um, male skincare product line that I have encountered. So I'm still using it a lot. And the other thing that I use is uh, this Foreo, um, what we call, what I call Foreo um, facial cleansing machine. We call it a machine, but it's just a very basic um, tool that you, after you put the foam onto your face and wet your face, and um, you can just turn this on, it will vibrate. And then when it vibrates, you just do it in a circular moment and clean your face. And Initially, I was skeptical about it because I thought, well, what can you do with this kind of thing? But then after I used it, I can tell you that I was uh, very impressed. So a lot of time when you're out and about, you cannot really have bottles and tubes of cleansers with you. So for me, I use um, what we call the facial wipes. And uh, this is the brand that I nowadays use. It's called the Swispers. And there are two particular versions that I like as the... Um, the rose water one and the cucumber one and I think they are very good and you can feel that your, 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 your skin and your face is clean after you use them and um, I particularly like the freshness of the cucumber one too. So apart from these, um, we also use um, what we call the eye serum. For me, eye serum is very important because um, we use our eyes to communicate and act, right? So. This is the eye serum that I use, which is, um, this particular version is the uh, Wild Ferns from Manuka Honey Wild uh, uh, Eye Serum that I use from New Zealand. And apart from this um, Wild Fern one, I also use the um, Natural World one, which I quite like too. So talking about Wild Ferns and Natural World, I also use the day cream and night cream. So for day cream, I prefer the Natural World one because this one um, it's, um, you don't feel that it is very greasy after you use it and also the good thing is that it has um, what we call UV protection. So in Australia, extremely important. You don't need to actually add another layer of, um, for, to protect your skin from, from UV. But this day cream, it provides UV, uh, UV protection too. And for the night cream, at the moment I'm using the Wild Firm one. I also like the Natural World one. But the thing is that the natural world one, the, the quantity is a lot less than the wild fern. So I think in terms of value for money, I probably prefer to use the wild fern one because when, you, with, when it's a similar price, you've got a bigger tube, why, or a bigger tub, why don't you get a bigger tub, right? And um, apart from that, I also do face mask. And just, as you can see, uh, I use a series of Freeman face mask that um, of natural ingredient and what I have been using it for some time I really like this um, collection of this brand of face mask so I usually use what we call the clay mask that you put on your face what and then you dry it and, and leave it on for a while and then you wash it away instead of the peel the peel off mask because I start to feel that like if you're just peeling your skin all the time it might not be very good that's just my personal preference um, 
the clay mask, the, the, the Frigma one, they have the anti-stress, they have deep cleaning, they have pore purifying, all sort of stuff. And so far, I think most of the ones that I try, as you can see, I have so many of them, I like them all. So I use them alternatively in a way that I believe that if you use one thing for too long, your skin will get used to it. So if your skin get used to it, it might be less effective. So I, I, so I circle them around to, to, to use the uh, clay mask. And the other one I use quite often nowadays is what we call the mud mask from New Zealand. This is a volcanic mud and it really cleans it. You can actually feel that it was cleaned. So, but for this one, because it is so strong, so I would highly recommend that once you use it, you definitely need to use um, day cream to, uh, to moisturize it immediately. Otherwise, it'll be too much. And for facial scrubs, I, uh, I use the lab series. As I said, the lab series is a bit on the higher end, but then at the same time, as I feel that the the, the, the particles in the men's uh, facial rub scrubs they are a lot better than the women's one because they're they're kind of um, more more coarse or coarser, so that you can clean men's skin a lot better. But for facial scrubs, after you use them, you definitely need to use something to moisturize it. And for me, I will use SK two. So I know SK2 is very expensive, I know, no, I know that. But at the same time, it's because you don't use facial scrubs every day. I use it twice a week, usually on a Monday or a Thursday. So for me, the SK2 uh, essence, I don't use that much every week. So it can last a lot longer. And um, that's, but you can actually feel that it's a lot better. So that's something, I think this, the most expensive item on this list that I have because all the other ones is around right, 20 something marks and uh, 30 dollars marks Australia so they are not that, that expensive from a skin care point of view and uh, body cream I use body cream I use this uh, Elizabeth Arden white tea wild rose one uh, wild rose because I like the smell but the cream itself was uh, very good it is very moisturizing you don't need to apply a lot it, it's very moisturizing so I, for summer I don't use it that much as compared to winter but one of the things that I usually would do every day is that I would put a little bit on my neck because for me skincare is not just about your face the face is important but also what I learned from a lot of makeup artists is that if you have your face done but then your neck is really dry and, and wrinkly and, and, and not look very good it actually impacts on how you look as a whole so I will make sure that every time every night I will put some cream on my neck so that it keeps the moisture and hopefully it stays look better for a longer period of time that's what I hope and lastly is the lip balm so I instead of lipsticks I prefer lip balm in a way that because I feel that you can control the amount that you put on a bit better and I all personally I feel that lip balms is a bit more moisturizing than lipsticks and you need to apply a lot less so that's my personal choice this one is from a market but I also pref I also recommend the ones from the Wildfire and the uh, Natural World one. Actually, I quite like the Natural World one. Yeah, but if you can find good lip balms, that would be good. And yeah, I think that's about it for me for today. And I hope that this kind of information is useful for you. And if you like this video, remember to share, like, and subscribe. And if you have any um. Thing you want to share with me about your skincare experience let me know and we can have a chat and if you have any questions feel free to make your comments down there and i will try my best to answer your queries so i hope this is helpful and i'll see you in the next video